Welcome to the Intensive Care Unit. I'm speaking to you now from an ICU room at the Rocky Mountain Regional VA Medical Center in Aurora, Colorado. My name is Jim Lavelle, I'm the medical director of this unit, and I'm also an associate professor of medicine at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. My specialty is pulmonary and critical care medicine. I am pretty much at home here in the intensive care unit. I've been doing this job for 20 years now, um, so I'm pretty comfortable. However, I was once a young doctor in training, and I can tell you that this can be a scary place. I distinctly remember my first month in the intensive care unit as an intern back in 1999. Um, and I've come a long way since then. Shock is one of the most commonly encountered problems we see here in the ICU. It's something that I have a particular passion and academic interest in. Um, it is responsible for, you know, anywhere between a 20 and 80 percent mortality rate, depending on uh, circumstances. And early diagnosis, evaluation, definitive treatment can really save lives in shock. And that's what this course is all about. So what is shock? Shock is a situation of imbalance between oxygen demand and oxygen delivery. Usually this is due to a problem with the cardiovascular system. Blood pressure is too low, not enough blood flow, bodies working overtime to fight whatever uh, circumstances are going on that are making the patient so sick and the cardiovascular system is not keeping up. The difference between a patient who has low blood pressure and a patient who is in shock is that the patient in shock has evidence of end organ damage. And the end organs we're concerned about would be the kidneys, the liver, the brain, bone marrow. That's the difference. And early recognition of organ failure in the patient with blood pressure issues or cardiac output issues is the key to making the diagnosis of shock. The next thing you need to figure out is what type of shock. And we're going to learn that there are four different general classifications of shock. Uh, and they're all managed differently. We'll also delve into what causes each of these four shock states. What are your, what's your differential diagnosis? Once you have that in place, you can initially stabilize the patient, do further diagnostic evaluation, and then ultimately definitively treat the underlying cause of the patient's shock state. This is crucial for an intern. You are on the front line. You're going to be the first person called to evaluate these patients. And it's my hope that this online course will provide you with the background, the knowledge base, and the confidence to walk into the ICU and take good care of patients and save lives. So again, welcome to the Intensive Care Unit.